So the first thing you need to do is enable console, if you haven't already. You can turn on console by going to the main menu, hitting options, hitting keyboard and mouse, and then just clicking enable developer console, which I already had enabled, but still. So now you can open a console with the button like to the left of one, it's like the little squiggly button that's sort of like a comma, it's above tab as well, so when you hit it you uh, open up the screen. So to record your game, you type in record, space, and then the file name. Well, I usually choose the numbers, like record one, because it's simple, it's easy to type. So after you put that command in and hit enter, then you're actually just recording the game. So you can just go along playing it until, say, something interesting happens, like a funny death. Or... So once you want to stop recording, then you go to console and you just type in the word stop, hit enter. And it's probably best if you uh, stop recording after something funny happens, so you remember that at the end of the file there's something good. So once you want to watch the file over again so you can re-record with Fraps or X-Fire or whatever, then you just type in, say, play demo in the file name, which would be play demo 1 for this case. And it comes back to the uh, recording, and it's playing it exactly as I played it. The demo UI command is also very helpful when you're recording a, a demo because you're able to speed up gameplay or you can slow down gameplay, you can even pause or skip ahead in the gameplay, and it also works as a play demo command, but that doesn't have really work for me in Left 4 Dead 2, I don't know why. One of the more interesting things about the demo UI is uh, the drive feature. If you hit drive, hold left click, and move around, you can actually move around inside the demo. Uh, sadly though, like your guns still fire and reload while they're firing, and your flashlight's still turned on. And if you left click, you'll go wherever uh, you are supposed to be, anyway. But you can also turn off your guns by doing R draw view model 0, and you can also turn off your HUD by doing hide HUD 4. And now it sort of looks a little more like uh, another view. But you notice my body's not even there because I'm in my body. Now my body's there because I'm dead, but still. Yeah, and like I said before, uh, the uh, demo UI also has like the load feature where you can choose one of your files. But uh, as you notice, like the files here are like four megabytes and maybe one megabyte. But if you look at this file, it's nearly 500 megabytes for one minute's recording. So I mean, the record feature is really good in that it uh, saves file space. The great thing about Valve is they've got a demo UI in every single game, or at least all the games I have of theirs. Left 4 Dead has demo recording. All the Half-Life 2 episodes have a demo recording. Team Fortress 2 has demo recording, but you know what the cool thing is? Look, it's a different color. It's not like, you know, the uh, sort of grayish color. It's more dark and gray, but still, never mind. And Portal's got demo recording. But Portal's also got problems with the demo recording, so, like, let me show you. Uh, so I start recording, and I'll just go shoot a uh, portal here, shoot a portal on the ground. Wait, that doesn't get close. Okay, it's closer, yeah. And uh, if you just go through them a couple times, or more like 50 times or something, then, then the recording will be a little strange once I uh, show that to you. But, okay, so let's uh, stop recording and start the demo. So here's the demo. All is sort of normal, except for it's sort of it has got low frames per second. Notice. So I shoot the portals, and I shoot the portals again, and I go through them, and well, you can see a bit of a difficulty there. Now my screen is slightly crooked right now, which shouldn't be too much of a problem. But now I'm completely upside down. I don't understand why, but hey, it doesn't work very well, Portal. The biggest thing to fear in demo recording is uh, updates. An updated game cannot play demo recordings from an unupdated game. There's some sort of conflict in the uh, game's mechanics, so you lose all the files if the game updates. And because Valve auto-updates their games through Steam, then you don't even have a chance to use your files. If you notice here, then none of my files work, all like nine of them, because uh, they came from a game before this update that fixed like one thing that never really affected me anyway, but hey. So just beware of uh, updates and try to record as soon as you can if you have something interesting. So that's how you demo record.